G'day! Welcome to another curriculum burst. This time let's do a grade 10 problem that goes as follows. Each vertex of a convex pentagon A, B, C, D, E is to be assigned a colour. Okay? There are six colours to choose from and the ends of each diagonal must have different colours. I'm going to think about that. And the actual question is, how many different colourings are possible? Right, right, I've got to take this question in. We've got a convex pentagon. Convex means it bulges out, not like caving in parts of this pentagon. So convex pentagon, five sides. So something like this. One, two, three, four, five. Didn't say regular, so it'd be just a convex pentagon. Its corners are called A, B, C, D, E. So far, so good. Uh, each vertex is to be assigned a color. Excuse me, assigned a color. So this will be yellow and yellow and yellow and yellow and yellow because I've only got a yellow marker with me. But actually, the question says I can choose any one of six colors for each corner. Right, so I've got to color each corner one of six colors. So far, so good. The tricky part is the ends of each diagonal must have different colors. I'm a little bit confused what diagonal means. Um, hmm. So let me go back a step. What does diagonal mean in general? For example, if I did a square, assuming what the diagonal means of a diagonal of a square is the one that cuts across through the square. I guess that has two diagonals. So what could a diagonal of a pentagon be? Well, I guess the analogous thing would be something that cuts across the interior of the, of the pentagon. For example, there's a diagonal, and there's a diagonal, and there's a diagonal. There are diagonals. All right, diagonals, got them. But the ends of each diagonal must have different colors. So if B is yellow, that tells me E can't be yellow as well, it has to be red or green or purple or something. So I guess A and C can't be the same colour, and A and D can't be the same colour, and C and E can't be the same colour. So there are restrictions on this. Alright, now this is going to feel overwhelming. Um, six choices of colour here, six choices of colour here, six choices here, six and six. I could say the answer is six to the fifth, but no, I need that restriction to come in place. So what am I going to do? This feels like a problem where you have to just go through it slowly and carefully and capture all possibilities. So I guess strategy number seven, perseverance is key. For example, I can tell, maybe I'll just draw a little schematic version like this. If I vertex A be one color and B be a different color, C is another color, D and E all different colors. If each vertex was a different color, that would work. No two diagonals would be the same color. But there are six choices of color for vertex A, leaving me five choices of color for vertex B, four for th uh, C, three, two. So I could multiply these together. That's all the colorings with every vertex a different color. And that certainly fits the criterion of the question. So that's one case I could do. But I suspect I can have two vertices being the same color. For example, A and B could both be red. Maybe I'm gonna draw a case like this. There's A and B, they could be the same color, and maybe the other three are different colors. I can probably count how many configurations are like that. Or maybe I could have two pairs of sides the same color and the third, uh, the fifth individual dot a separate color. And probably count configurations like that. Okay, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just chasing through all the cases. Maybe I could do another case of, say, three dots the same color and the other two separate. Except, no. Watch out. If they were the same color, have a diagonal that ends the same coloring. Not allowed in this question. So that's out. So. Maybe I've got one case done, I can go through, look at all the possible cases there are, do a counting argument like this, and just add them up. Perseverance is key. I bet I can work my way through this one. So try it for yourself. And I've done this in the essay that goes with the video, and when you've got your answer, compare it to my answer. Let's see if we're the same. That'll be interesting. All right, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.